Uh, the Catholic Education Office serves the needs of the Diocese of Sandhurst. I look at why it is that so many families are saying we want our children to be at these schools. Parents feel very welcome into our schools. It offers an outstanding education. Great knowledge of, of education and they share that education, their knowledge uh, with the schools. There's something about an atmosphere in our Catholic schools. The quality of the people, they've got a heart. They've got a heart that they want to do good for others. To serve the needs of others. The whole common good of the local community. Catholic Education Office Sandhurst. Believe, imagine, serve. Sandhurst celebrated a very special day on the 26th of March 2009 in Bendigo. the grand opening of their new Bendigo offices. At the ceremony, there was inspiring and thought-provoking speeches. When the very existence of the Catholic system was under threat. But as Steve Gibbons reassured us earlier today at our SSEB meeting, those days are long past. We needed conditions of service to attract careers in teaching. As a diocese, I believe that we are blessed with a loyal, faithful, very professional and enterprising leadership, whose members not only desire that our school provide the best possible opportunities of learning in numeracy and literacy, which is important too, but also to understand and to make sure that there are also places where each individual student will develop his or her God-given qualities and talents. The original plaque was there and we've had it repainted and repointed and it dates back the original commemoration stone is 1918. It was a day enjoyed by all as we marked the beginning of a new era for Sandhurst Catholic Education by the opening of these new offices. Regarding this new office, it has been, been built here for a purpose. We've all got room, we've got places to gather, we've got places to have our own office space. We've got the Bishop de Campo Conference Hall, which is open to all of the Sandhurst diocesan community. Boardroom for group discussions and so on. Um, just outstanding. The architecture matches the quality and the skills of the people who actually inhabit the offices. It's because it's on a site where the old Maris School used to be. So it's an acknowledgement of the incredible amount of work that has gone before us. It's got to be conducive to a good working environment. It will enable us in Catholic Education Office to actually serve our schools and our parish communities better. The offices are great, but now it's time to get the facts about Sandhurst. The primary work of the Catholic Education Office is to serve the needs of schools, to serve the needs of principals, staff members, canonical administrators, and obviously in the end, the students and teachers. And the, the vision is, um, is very broad and exciting. Servicing the needs of 54 communities, soon to be 55 communities. It's a, it's a mindset and it, it starts at, even at the school officer and it goes right through all the staff to the teaching aides and, uh, and even the cleaner, you know. We've been created by God and our heart will not find rest unless it finds rest in this God. It's extremely important for students that there's this strong Catholic identity. Number one, they get to learn and know the message of Jesus Christ, which will change their lives forever. They will have a fuller appreciation of what it is to be human. That yes, it is to use all our talent and all our God-given gifts, but not just for ourselves, for the service of others. It's helping them to appreciate their gifts it's helping them also to be prepared for their future life. It does make a difference in students' lives and students get actively involved in social justice, in fantastic liturgies that they lead, and that's the critical part, is engaging our students. 
even when they look at things around them and they say, yes, that is very good, that is very well, but is this what Jesus would like us to do? And that to me excites me because there are people who are very much seeped in the tradition of our Catholic faith, yet at the same time, they are not afraid to think big, to think wide for the benefit of our people and to make sure that our people understand what it means to be a believer in Jesus and what it means to be baptized. We offer an outstanding education. So we offer education in the faith and we offer education in all aspects um, of a young person's life currently um, and what will carry them through to the future. Parents send their students to work with people who by and large they don't know are their adults. And they have 60,000 minutes instructional time a year, 100,000 minutes at school. Most often that's more time than they have with their own parents in those years. The most important thing is to ensure that uh, children are engaged in their learning. The learning is seen as relevant by the student. We're, we're trying to cater for the individual needs of each student and in some ways that's based around technology which enables that, that personalised learning to take place. And so there are a number of exciting new initiatives both in the primary schools and the secondary schools that are taking place around that individualised and personalised learning. But it's caring for the best growth for each individual student. Parents feel very welcome into our schools. Parents want their children to be safe, uh, to be happy and to achieve to their potential in all aspects of their life. And as a parent you can judge it by your um the state of your children. My children are happy, they're learning, they're engaged, they're fit. And I think parents are really attracted to that. Uh, the values that are inculcated in the Catholic system uh, I think are also very attractive. They appreciate the pursuit of excellence, they appreciate the quality and range of the curriculum, they want it to be in an atmosphere that expresses Catholic values. As a parent, we've been extremely pleased with the choices we've made with Sandhurst. The SSCB, Sandhurst School Education Board, advises and develops new ideas for Catholic education matters. These meetings are attended by a broad cross-section of the diocese and have regular guest speakers like Steve Gibbons, Federal Member for Parliament Bendigo. Look, I'm here to talk about uh, Labor's policies, the Labor government's policies on education, of course. Uh, Kevin Rudd announced prior to the, uh, the federal election that we wanted to bring about uh, an education revolution. But, uh, I'm delighted that uh, not only has he followed through, but uh, we're improving on the original idea on a education revolution for all of Australia. For the future, I'd like to see people who are alive because Christianity doesn't make us sad. Christianity really brings the best out of us. Making it a better world for everyone. When Christ came, Christ came to save everyone came to make God's love known to everyone and that is the challenge for us and that's why our schools are open to a broader and more diverse community of people. That's part of our whole school review process around the whole area of Catholic identity and what that means to be in a Catholic school. At this point of time we have responsibility to carry on the story. One of those responsibilities includes to make the story better, to make it stronger, to make the work more rigorous, to make the work more effective. Helping all our programs to really give the very best of quality education. We know that this is not just our work, but it's God's work. A core belief that the major purpose of education is the whole common good of the local community, making it a better world for everyone. Their children grow up shaped and formed for life by Catholic faith and Catholic values. Our students are very proud to be connected with their school, with the diocese. You, you soon realise that um, the reason the school is so good is because the whole system works. For more information about Sandhurst, contact them today. Sandhurst Catholic Education Office. Believe. Imagine. Serve.